in, we'll give it up, and then we're going to go ahead and get started. TikTok's starting out red, so that's not a good sign. Lost connection to Wi-Fi. Already starting out. I might have to reset. Probably just going to do a reset right now on TikTok. That way I don't have to worry about it. Won't even let me reset. Before everybody comes in. Before everybody comes in, yeah. Let me end that really quick. All right. YouTube and Facebook, you got to give me a second. I got to... Uh, Got to reset my phone for some reason. Lately, TikTok's been doing that to where when you start a live, it literally starts you out and like nothing's working. So uh, nobody's in here yet. So that's a good sign. You guys are watching the replay. Make sure you hit that like button. You're following on whatever platform you're watching on. And just give me a quick second. Let me reset my phone really quick. Let me know how your guys' sales have been today. Um, sales today have been actually really good. I sold... Um, two suits today. Everybody's been asking me about the suits and how uh, how well they've been selling and suits have been moving for me. So let's go on the suits. What's up, Christopher? Appreciate you hopping in. Listing. Um, so on YouTube it is nice. Well, you can't be on TikTok right now because some reason um, I think it's messing up for everybody recently. Um, whenever you start a live, it like lags and it's really annoying. So I just reset my phone really quick. Appreciate all six viewers that are hanging out over here. Just give me one quick second. Boom. Actually, I didn't set it to 18 plus. Oh, well. <laughs> oh, well. We just can't say anything bad. I'll do my best. You'll do your best. Let's see if that works now. It's still red, so that's not a good song. She's got a counter offer on eBay as well. Nice. It's still red for some reason. Hmm. I swear, TikTok is so bad lately. I might have to switch to my other phone and see if my other phone works. <laughs> Uh, Mayor Bear is here. How are you? We're doing good, Mary. How are you doing today? TikTok is uh, TikTok is acting a fool right now. One more time. We might we might have to do this on YouTube and Facebook only tonight, because uh, yeah, to, yeah we might we might have to try. Well, I, I forget my, what my login is. So if it, it's just a, go off. Right. It's a different login. Sorry guys, technical difficulties to start out. Of course. See, this is this is green, so we're good. It's just this phone nope, for some reason. Yellow. It's yellow now. Uh oh. <laughs> now great. it's back to green. Okay, we're good. We're good. Did you check the uh, brand um, Vilebrequin swim shorts? Those are really good. Yes, I do know those shorts. I don't. I don't. That's one section of thrift store we don't really look in. Is the uh, swim short section? You'll never see me looking in there. But yes, I do know that's a good brand. Same as like Viore and stuff like that. It's red again. It, it is, is literally it. red again. Yeah, go check it out and see if it's working. But it keeps saying I lost connection, even though we're obviously working. We're hooked up to Wi-Fi. And uh, YouTube and Facebook are working. So it's just really weird. It's not working. It's really weird that TikTok is not working right now. I got people joining, but nobody can watch anything because it's lagging. Let's try to figure this out really quick. Yeah, it's not working. It says it's it says it's not loading, but I am I'm hooked up to Wi-Fi. So and obviously the Wi-Fi is working because it's working here. It must be something on um tiktok that's not working but that's okay well i guess we'll just try it here we'll give it like a, a minute or two and see if this connects and if it doesn't everybody's just gonna have to watch me on youtube and facebook which is why we have multiple platforms for this exact reason do you want me to try to go live up where um Wait, I, I guess you can try yeah try to go live on your account what's up trisha we're trying we're trying to figure out why there it is now it's working oh, we're, we're oh, back okay we're back tiktok we're here you are first dilly oh, dilly now we're off. This is this is TikTok for you guys. <laughs> this is horrible. Um, okay, here. Let me try mine really quick. Although if yours isn't working, mine's not going to do any better. Yeah. Check Line Creek. Line Creek is live right now. Is his working? Uh, You're lagging. I know I'm lagging. His it's, is working. It's not. It's definitely not me. His is working, but he's been live for a while. Oh, yeah, that's true. So, so we're live right now. We're good now. It says we're good now. We're green. Do you want me to try? Now it? you see me. No, you're good. Okay. I think it'll work. Uh, we're good now. You're not, though. <laughs> Is it not? It says I'm green here. You're very choppy. Frozen? Yeah, we're frozen. Damn, come on, man. All I right. wanted this to work. All right, I'm just going to do it for fun. Let's just see. I wanted this to work. It's not my Wi-Fi, Lily. It's not. Yeah, Facebook is fine. YouTube is fine. TikTok is the one that's messing up tonight. So I'll give it a second. Um, Kayla's going to try to go live really quick and see if it works on her phone before we get started. Oh, I guess I got to flip See if it's working. Like... Just doesn't make any sense. Why YouTube and Facebook will be working, but TikTok's not. Nope. We've got red. 
TikTok's not working at all. Yeah, it's TikTok. TikTok has been bad for a few days now, I know. And normally it fixes itself. Like after a second, it'll load up. But right now it's completely lost connection. Completely. It literally garbage. just told me it lost connection. It's yeah, it's saying, it's saying she lost connection even though she's connected. So just try to look at my live really quick. See if it's working. If not, we're just going to do it here, here everybody. Go yeah, no, you got to refresh. No, you're not live. <laughs> Am I not live? Hold on. You're not. One more try. Last try. I really want to get this working on TikTok because we normally get a ton of viewers when um, when we're doing our thrift hauls. So, sorry guys. Bear with us for just a minute. Let's see if we can get this working now. It's green. Can't get you on TikTok yet. <laughs> It's red. It like immediately goes to red That's as soon so as I go weird. live. It's, it's really, like... really annoying. Um, I don't know what Look, else. Look, it's just a lost connection. Yeah. It's not even trying to. I wonder if I pull myself off Wi-Fi. That'll work. I mean, I don't get much connection back here in the back room. But if I pull myself off, TikTok's horrible right now. I switch to YouTube. Yeah, TikTok is not loading. For some reason, it's completely not loading. So, no, I'm not bananaed. Oh, it, it almost feels like I'm banana. Even off Wi-Fi, it's still not loading. It's completely red. So that tells you it's a TikTok issue. So it's not even showing you're live. Yeah, it's not even showing I'm live right now. Let me see if there's an update on TikTok that I haven't done really quick. This is troubleshooting 101 right here. What's up, Trims? Appreciate you hopping in for this absolute. It should show. I guess I can. It say, does need an update. I need. A, I'm doing an update right now on it. Hopefully, that's the issue. Um, so, if you guys are having issues on TikTok, maybe you just need to download the update. And that might fix it. So, we'll see. We'll try it one more time after the update is done. It just says add latest stickers to videos. That's what I'm going to get. <laughs> that's not the issue. We're messing with TikTok. We don't want stickers. We just want live to work. I don't know. Brian updated two days ago. And it wasn't working either. So. Juliet's video that just popped up. Okay, one last try. Let me hook up the Wi-Fi really quick. And if this doesn't work, then we are just doing YouTube, which is completely fine. I might actually end the YouTube live and then restart it, so that way we can have like a fresh YouTube, and then I'll I'll clear out the old one because I don't want I don't want people to be watching this over again. So, see, we're all learning. Exactly, we're all learning. Okay, we're green, right? Nope, we're yellow. Immediately goes to yellow. We'll see if this works. Now we're yellow is better than red. Yeah, yellow is better than red. What's up, Chris? Chris, we're trying to get TikTok to work. Why not TikTok? We're trying. We're trying to get TikTok. It looks like we're green, right? Nope, we're going right to yellow. So obviously, it's not my connection. It is TikTok. Oh wait, um, wait, wait, wait. No, it says I'm live, but I'm I'm red again. Oh. Yeah. It is completely red. I literally can't even hook up to hook up to TikTok. She can't either. Um. <laughs> She can't get it to work either. I'll try one more time, but I don't. If it's not doing it for you, it ain't gonna do it for me. Yeah, she's gonna try to go live one more time. Sorry, everybody. She copied a train wreck this week for me. Yeah, it's been absolutely. Chris had uh, one of his live thrift videos. He couldn't even download it because TikTok, TikTok completely didn't allow him to do it. Last uh, yesterday, all my lives, I can't download any of those lives either. They're completely gone. So. That's red too. Won't even do it. Yeah, hers is red as well. So TikTok's been doing off for the last few days. Yeah. Um, right. hang on. Let me, let me write something in chat on TikTok. Well, on. There I put in the chat. Okay. Let me just let that sit for a second. That went then, through. Yeah. So my chats are going through, which obviously means it's not my connection because my chats are going through. So, um, appreciate you uh, pinning that, uh, Lily. Everybody join on Facebook. Obviously, you guys are here. Facebook and uh, YouTube because TikTok is absolutely broken right now. Joel's having fun staring at the dots. <laughs> Joel's having fun. I wish Joel was here. I, I got something to tell Joel. So hopefully he hops on. Um, hopefully he hops on and uh, comes on over. There he is. There's Joel. Okay, Joel's over on Facebook. That's all we need. Um, everybody else is going to be hopping over. It looks like the numbers are growing. So sorry about all that technical difficulties. So Clearly, it's, you know. That's TikTok for you. But at least YouTube and Facebook. This is why we have multiple platforms. so Everybody can still watch what we're doing. So I appreciate you guys hopping on in. We have a really good thrift haul today. Uh, we picked up, what did we pay? Do you, you have the receipt, don't you? Did you take it and put it in your purse? I think I think it was, it was like, like eight something. Yeah, I think it was like eight. Well, with your extra item, it was like 840 is what we spent. <laughs> Where is my extra? It's on, I think it's over. The, it's right Let's over see. there. You want to go grab it and just show it off really quick? 
I guess so. Maybe you guys can help us with this because we don't know if this is 100% authentic. But it is a really nice... Uh, I wanted it for myself. She wanted it for herself. we can't tell if it's real or not. It's a coach bag. Yeah. And it's not like chintzy feeling. It feels legit. And the hardware is nice. Yep. It says coach throughout the whole, like all the little details are there. Joel said extra item. Square root of 69 is eight some. Are you going to start wrapping it up? <laughs> I've been trying to work it out. <laughs> Jeez Louise. I mean, it has all the, the stuff. It looks good. It looks authentic, um, but it's going to be hers anyway, so we didn't really care yeah. either way. I don't care if it's fake. Uh, but it was only 35 bucks. It was behind the counter. It's 35 bucks, and she's like, I want that. And I was like, you might as well get it. it. It's big enough. You know, I could put the baby stuff in it, too. So yeah, it's, it's like going like to be like a baby bag. Bag, you have that bag in bag. orange. Awesome. If you can send us, Brandy, if you can send us like um, message like, me like legit? pictures on the inside of your bag, what the actual tag looks like so we can compare. I think it's legit. I mean, it says coach, like it's all like pressed in and stuff. Yeah, I have the, a coach. Even the hardware doesn't it. feel like. It says it on the buttons. Like it's. Yeah. It's real long time coach collector here. Cool. So it is real. That's awesome. Nice. So Dude. I don't know what that bag's worth, but we paid 35 bucks for it. It's going to be her bag. So. It's not like it's going to be up for sale anytime, anytime soon. We want to we want to start getting into bags and doing those kind of on whatnot because I know you ladies are like, you know, ladies love bags and uh, and our store has so many, so but we many. just can't. They have Louis, Fenty, uh, Coach, yeah, they have, Tory, they have Kate all the Spade, high end brands, so many but it's so hard to tell if they're legit or not. So we're just like, you know, you don't want to you want to buy something and try to sell something and it ends up being fake. I, I feel bad if I sold you guys a fake bag. So that's something we need to learn in the future because that's like a huge market to tap into. Yeah. So you make bags? Yes, you do. You do make bags. I watch your lives all the time. It's going to be her um, her mess bag. It is. <sighs> Joel, it's, it's be... real if you believe it's real. By it's the way, since we're here, I want to do this on TikTok <laughs> so everybody could see it on TikTok. But that's OK. We have all our friends and family here. Um, Joel. Um, so the other night on, uh, first off, Joel, uh, sent me an awesome sticker. Let me see where it is it's down here somewhere in the mess. I just made a huge mess, but Joel made this sticker for me and he sent it to me. It's, uh, me right there, obviously wearing a Kuji. This QR code takes you to kwayshop.com and then it has Kway shop at the bottom. It's an awesome sticker. He didn't have to do this. He sent me an awesome letter. The letter basically, I hope you don't mind me sharing this Joel, but it basically said, you know, he's learned a lot from me. And because of that, he was able to afford an iPad to make that graphic. And that's why he sent it to me um, out of the kindness of his heart. So um, the other night in my TikTok live, Joel, um, I remember you said something about Trisha's hanger and you said you can't afford it right now. So what I actually did is I bought a hanger for you. I skipped the line because that's what I can do because I promote Trisha's hanger. So she lets me skip the line and I bought you a hanger and it'll be on the way um, Sunday. Trish will be shipping it to you. So, you know, don't need to buy a hanger. I was going to like surprise you with it and just have it show up at your front door, but I didn't want you to buy the hanger just in case you were thinking about buying it. So Joel, you have a hanger on the way. Where are they? Oh, you got it up here. I'm hanging my shirt. I don't know if I can reach it. <laughs> All of our stuff. But yeah, you got a hanger on the way. So I appreciate you, Joel. I love people that do selfless acts and they just do things out of the kindness of their heart. And I'm always one to repay the favor. So you have one of these headed to you. They should be there. Trisha ships, shipped them out on Sunday. So based off where you live, you should have it by Wednesday. So that's you. That's all you. Joel is awesome. Joel is awesome. Um, let me hang this shirt up backwards because that's the way you should be showing it off. Yeah, my, my holy girlfriend, right? Leave your head. But I appreciate yeah. you, Joel. Thank you. Uh, thank you for being you. Thank you so much. No problem. And that's so nice of you. It is. It is. That's that's all you. All right, let's go ahead. All the lovey-dovey stuff is over with. Let's go ahead and start showing off the fines. Um, I think this is the only sealed bag. All the rest are open, so we only need scissors for this one. We Appreciate you. Yeah, you definitely deserve it. If you guys aren't following Joel over on um, TikTok, uh, pretty good resells. He's over on TikTok. He puts up a lot of good information. Um, he does a lot of thrift hauls over there, even though some of them are a lot like 10 times smaller than ours. They're really good stuff. And he definitely explains it really well. So if you're not following him over on TikTok, definitely give him a follow. My kid says, why am I smiling so big? That's awesome. That's awesome. All right. Let's go ahead and get started. First item is this Ralph Lauren shirt. I'm doing the surfs up method on these. I'm probably going to list them for like 17, anywhere between 15 to 17 plus ship. I only paid five bucks for them. And they're all really, really good colors. So um, really nice 
Ralph Lauren paid five bucks for it. Again, $17.99 plus shipping. What colors were? I think it was just white. Yeah, white tags were the ones that weren't half off. So we'll explain to you guys um, when we get to a shirt that's not half off. We'll tell you the price and all that good stuff. So that's great to help each other. Definitely. I appreciate him. He did that out of the kindness of his heart. So you want to do this one? Sure. It's a women's item. Women's. I haven't found two Actually, we women's stuff. We should stuff. sort the stuff before we start the live next time. That it's way we mainly can just grab stuff. and go. Yeah, I think yeah. this is all men's in this bag. Well, this was with the other one. This is a, let me find it, Lululemon dress. Mm -hmm. And I've never actually found a Lululemon dress before. It's even got these little side pockets. Yeah, it's nice. Little foam pockets. I like it a lot. It feels super comfy. Stretchy dress. Yep. I think uh, you got so, two of those. Two I do those, have right? two. I don't know where the other one is. We might run one on but, Whatnot this week. And then the other one will be run, or the other one we'll put up on eBay. So one for ourselves, one for one for you all. <laughs> We did pay 15 for it, so. They were very confused when I tried to explain it was a hanger. You guys are absolutely the best. Um, I can't say thank you enough. No issues, Joel. I appreciate you. Like I said, I love little selfless acts like that. Somebody, you know, you didn't have to take the time of the day to send me that sticker, and you did, and you made it for me. So I felt like I can only return the favor, and this was the best way to do it. Something that you said that you wanted, and now you're getting it. It's like I feel like Santa Claus right now. Yeah. Next up, <laughs> we, we paid five bucks. Um, another uh, Ralph Lauren uh, flan this is like a flannel, a little bit heavier. So this might be one like $17.99, a little bit of higher price plus shipping. We'll see how fast these ones sell. So I'll give you guys updates. We actually have a bunch of these now. We have last week's haul and this week's haul with um, these Ralph Lauren pieces. So what we're probably going to do is take one day and we're going to list all of them in one day. It'll be really easy because you can just copy the same draft and change the size, change the measurements, change the colors and put the next one up. So that's probably what we're going to do. So Next up, we have a North Face. This is actually, this is one that I found though, so I guess I can show it off. This is a women's North Face. It's a size XL. Uh, we only paid five bucks for this. Really, really nice North Face, quarter zip, women's. Um, we might still list this this time of year because North Face moves all year round, um, but we'll definitely put this on the back burner. We're going to list it like last if we do list it. If not, it's just going to go into our um, winter pile and it'll be listed next uh, winter season. So um, when you start going with the women's items, I might shut that light off. Cause I think it's like, I think it's too bright. It kind of like shut it drowns. Off? Um, Which light? This? The, the, the big one. This? Yeah. Cause it like, it like makes it so I can't really see the tags and I want them to be able to see the tags, but that's okay. We'll, we'll keep going through. I think this one might be yours. Yeah, that's yours. I think this is a mixed. It is a mixed bag. Dive. I thought we put it all at the bottom, but they I guess they they switched it up on us. I don't know, but now it's... your face for your face. You know that from Rally Roots. Your face for your face. Athleta, size medium cardigan. We paid five bucks. I'm gonna shut it off really quick while you go over that. I love cardigans. They sell all the time. All year. Oh, this one has pockets. I didn't even realize that. Ooh, even better. Which one are you shutting up? The big one. So I'm going to use the ring light in front of us. Is that better? I mean, what do you guys think? Is that better? Sometimes the light behind makes it too dark. But now if we do this, let me scoot by you really quick. What is it? Now if we use this, like this, hold on. Yes. Robin said it's better. Yeah, I figured it was going to be. Hold on, chat. That is probably way better for you guys. Yeah, that, that, does, that does look better. Yeah, so now when we show the tag, let me see a piece really quick. Let me see that this piece really better. quick. Definitely better. So now you all can actually see that inside tag when we show off the tag and see that it's Vince. Did you already do this one? No, you just did. <laughs> Vince, I picked this up. Chat told me to pick this up. By the way, the live thrift will be up after this. I'm going to put two parts. I'm going to put the first part and the second part because halfway through I had to use the restroom. So I had to stop it anyway. So I'm just going to make it a two-parter. So uh, the first part will be up after this live. And then the next part will be up later after that. But you guys will hear in the second part, yes, or tomorrow's live, you'll hear me ask chat about this one. This is a Vince. But the thing about this one is a cashmere blend, I believe. Yeah, it's wool and cashmere. So that's the reason why we picked this up. Really nice, just turtleneck. Again, this is something that could sell year round. So we'll probably will list this, but we'll put this into our like end of our list pile instead of in the beginning. So really nice pickup. 
Saying you pick up what I'm working on. Okay, cool. I'll check it right after the live. A fleece like that is everyday wear for us mountain folk this time of year. Definitely. Definitely. All right, let's grab this next one. Here's another. I guess I'll show this one off. Yeah, that's... This is another one of those Lululemon dresses. Like we said, we're probably going to put one on eBay for us to resell, and then we'll put one on whatnot. But there's that Lululemon hit right there. It's the same exact one. Um, it was half off, so we paid 15 bucks for this. And I think these go for – these probably go for like 40 um, I would assume they're like an athletic – kind of dress so Stretchy i think it'll do pretty good who's marking the tags? she's marking the tags but uh we haven't had much to mark most of the stuff we got today was actually half off there was it was white tags that were half off but there was very few yeah this is all you i think, I think, I think the bottom of this is... bag might be me and that's it i didn't yeah. get we got quality not quality that's what we kept saying yeah you guys lost that's what you said okay because <laughs> i won yesterday all right he can never just let anybody win <laughs> Large Athleta. This is like a sweater dress. I don't even know if I could show it all the way off. It's super cute. It's got zippers here on the sleeve, which is super nice. And it has pockets. What do we pay for this? We paid $5. This is nice. Wait, we are definitely grabbing this. Here, I'll just... Swap those out. I'll mark all your tags for you. You could just oh. grab them right there. Make it easy. They did have a Barefoot Dreams cardigan, but it was $25 white tag. So uh, I think they've caught on in our store. Yeah. But I like finding those. So they say that girl always buys these. So yeah. we're going to mark them up. <laughs> Not for us anymore. What is this? The tag's kind of squished. Let me show you. A medium All Saints sweater I'm trying to like show it so it looks good it's very all saints and we paid five dollars very nice i was excited to find this so, is that a v pie i don't know what all saints go for but i know all saints is a really good brand so i knew that was pretty much a pickup as soon as i saw her um, she kind of five it, I bucks like, so i was like i think that's pretty good to be honest Sundance Medium, we paid $2. It's like a long sleeve dress, lightweight, stretchy dress. Uh, Riz was in the chat with me, and she said, uh, grab that. So we grabbed it. Oh, there it is. I'm looking, for the, I'm looking for the pen. I'm like, where the heck did oh. I put that pen? I don't know where you put it. What else did we find? Appreciate everybody hanging out in chat, too. If you guys can hit the like button on YouTube, all you have to do is X out of the chat and then hit the like button, and then you come right back in. And if you're on uh, Facebook, hit that like button. Feel free to ask questions in the chat. Um, as soon as we swap, I'll start reading some questions. Um, she'll probably read some in between, too. So feel free to drop any questions you have in the chat. Or just hang out and watch Thrift Hall. That's all good, too. I kept looking for you all on TikTok. So we tried TikTok for, like, TikTok's a good broken. solid 10 minutes, and it is not working. You can't, you can't blame the internet on this one because clearly we're working on all the other platforms. So Yeah. It's got to be TikTok. Oh, wait, there's a glare. Another Athleta medium dress. We paid five bucks. This is a super cute dress. This might be it's a... It's got like the... What is it called? Out Rouge? Out. Rouged? Scrunchy? Mm. I like scrunchy better. Scrunched here at the bottom. That might be a whatnot item right there. It might be. Or go in a reseller box. Either way. We that's shall a nice see. One. This, we found these like right off the bat. We had some luck with the jeans. Mm-hmm. A gold. I've seen these before. They don't really have these super priced up, but they only have these priced at 10 bucks. So definitely grab them. These are nice jeans. I've never actually picked these up before, but I knew to look for the brand. I've seen it picked up before by other resellers. So Mickey said all saints leather jackets are the bomb. I wish I could find some leather, Ooh, leather all jacket? saints. Got to keep an eye out for those, I guess. What else? What else? Ooh. So Eileen Fisher, I know it's kind of hard to see. Eileen Fisher, size 12 denim jeans. We paid $6.50. Can't see the tags. Can you spell it? Yeah, this one's kind of hard to see. If you hold it up a little closer, you might be see. able to show it off. I don't know. I feel like the lighting gets worse the closer you get. Wait, right there. Can you guys see it? Eileen Fisher, size 12 denim jeans. I've never found jeans in Eileen Fisher. But we looked up sold cops and they were pretty good. So we're going to give it a shot. And they were only six bucks. So glad to find these. 
this is you. You found this. Did I? Oh, yeah. This was a... Uh, <clears throat> somebody in my chat told me to pick this up. So I kind of had a question on it uh, when I found it. You can go over them. They're the women's Actually, items. Recipes. This is a Wallace and Barnes J. Crew uh, brand new with tag sweater. I think it's a wool. And uh, we only paid 10 bucks for it. It's got this... Uh, is that is that stained? Does that look stained? It kind of does now that I see it Wait. in the light. The, look at the look at the camera. It's definitely it's definitely faded. See that? The back's oh, not yeah. faded. Well, the back has. But look at the front. Look how faded that is. You can't right see here? it. Yeah, you can't see it in natural light. You can only see it when the actual light's on. That's... But that does look that yeah. does look faded. So you can't even see it right here. But on this light, you can well, definitely see that that's faded. So this is probably going to be. Break out all the this is probably going to be a throwaway item. Um, obviously, you can't sell something that's faded like that. That's so weird because to the naked eye, it doesn't look faded. Is that? I was going to say, is that maybe the pattern? But it just doesn't make no, sense. It wouldn't make sense. That that looks like it probably was folded, and it sat in the sunlight, and the sun faded it. That's probably what happened to that because it's still brand new. So this probably hung up in like. If this was in a retail store, it probably hung up right at the end of a, a rack right by the sun and didn't sell. And it sat there for like months and then it got faded. So this is probably just a Chuck throwaway item. We'll put that off to the side. Unless somebody in chat wants it, um, you can pretty much have it at that at that point. <sighs> Can't see the... Oh, that was for yours. That was for yours. You already answered that one. Okay, this one is already sold actually. This uh, sold to a viewer. This is a free fly jacket. It's like a free fly hooded like sweater pullover thing already sold for 25 bucks. We paid $2 and 50 cents. It's a really good brand to be on the lookout for um, both in men's and women's. It's like a super stretchy, like athletic brand. Um, the first time I found these, I actually made a video. It's on TikTok. Um, I found these in shorts and they sold really well for us. I think I sold those shorts in like less than a week for like 25 bucks each. And I paid like five bucks back when Goodwill had stuff for five bucks, but um, this one sold for 25. I've never found an item like this in free fly. As soon as I found it, especially for 250, I was like, holy cow, that right there is a pickup. Next up, I got theory. Um, the reason I picked this theory piece up, cause I don't normally pick up theory. Um, this was a cashmere theory. It's hundred percent cashmere. Um, let me see if you guys can see that tag. I'm pretty sure you probably can. Oh, uh, no. Oh, that glare. Yeah, it's a glare. It says hundred percent cashmere on it. Can't really see it, but 100% um, cashmere theory should do really well. Again, this is an item that will sell year round. So we'll pick this up and we'll list this ASAP. And then another item that I picked up based off the fabric. If this was just a normal Brooks Brothers women's piece, I probably would pass on it. Um, but let me see if I can find the tag. It's in here somewhere. There it is right there. The tag actually came loose. You can see it's kind of floppy, but it's still stitched in there. Nobody really cares about the tag as long as the brand tag is in there. But this is a silk cashmere blend women's Brooks Brothers knit like sweater. I'm pretty sure this is like minimum of $25 item. I got to run comps, but it is a really nice piece. So we picked this up and we only paid, we only paid $650 for this. So really good pickup. So I don't believe you looks like cotton to me. What are you talking about, bearded? What are you talking about, bearded? I wish I could get TikTok to work. I'd be on TikTok right now. But TikTok ain't working. Our bag number. Two of six. We got six bags total to go through. Lots of goodies in here. I'll pass it to you, I guess. Yeah, lots of goodies. Most of this is men's. I did fill up a whole men's cart today. And just think, we didn't even go through the suits because some guy like ran through the suits. Um, what do y'all think about the brand Umji? I've never heard of that brand before. Maybe somebody in chat knows the brand Umji. Never heard of it. Six fifty is what we paid for this. This is a carbon to cobalt, like Henley, like sweater almost. It's really nice, long, heavy Henley sweater. Good brand to be on the lookout for. Carbon to cobalt. I think minimum this should go for about 25 bucks. So that t-shirt takes the cake. Oh yeah, the t-shirt behind us. <laughs> we had the light <laughs> box turned on, but we turned it off. What's up, Surf's up? That's why he had to outthrift me today because yeah, because of I, that. I stole the show. Yeah, yesterday. you stole the show yesterday. <laughs> Next up, we have a Southern Tide Polo. I don't normally pick up this brand anymore because it is kind of watered down. But the reason I picked this up is because it was half off and it was only three bucks. So at $3, you can't really go wrong with a Southern Tide Polo. Again, shout out Surf's Up. I might use a Surf's Up method on this and just list this for like, 
you know, even like $13.99 plus shipping just to move it super fast, make a quick 10 bucks on it. So um, there's a nice little, nice little scoop right there. All right, here's a women's 2XL. I think I picked this one up too. Uh, North Face, we only paid five bucks for it. Just a simple fleece, but it has that good size on it, size 2XL. So um, this should be a minimum of 25 to 35. And again, we'll still list these, um, but we'll list these last out of everything we have to do. So saw it for the first time today. Nice. I'm in uh, Belmont, North Carolina, right beside Charlotte. Nice. Uh, we've been to North Carolina. We've been to Tennessee. We've been through Georgia. We haven't, we didn't really stop in Georgia when we were driving through. That's pretty much all we've been. We haven't really been I've many been places. Kentucky. She'd been to Kentucky when she ran away for the hurricane. We've been to Alabama. Alabama. Oh yeah. We drove through Alabama. Um, five bucks. This is going to be a women's small North face. Again, nice hooded fleece. This one's a little bit better because it's got that hood. Um, this might be either a whatnot item that we might run pretty soon. I don't know if we're going to run it this week we might save it for next week or this will end up in a reseller box which would be great for you guys because um easy you can sell this all year round north face moves really really fast and here's one we're definitely going to probably run on whatnot this is a women's medium by the way if you guys see anything you like you can always um hit me up at any time and i can give you a deal so even if we say we're going to run it on whatnot you guys can still buy it off us before we run on whatnot so we'll give you all first dibs 13 bucks is what we paid for this where's the uh, marker I don't know. I just, just had it. Threw it away. Here, hold on. Let's grab <laughs> I literally this one. just had I it. I got another it. one. We're good. Um, we always mark our items so we know which one's not half off. Um, obviously, white tags aren't half off, so we just throw a little X on there so we know. This is a, like, teddy sweater. It's really, really nice. Full zip. Nice, um, soft, all the way around. North face. Size medium. Decent size on this. Um, if we don't run this on whatnot, this would sell for, like, 35-ish on eBay, maybe a little bit more because it's a decent, it's a size medium. It's not one of those smalls. So we might even list that for 40. Next up, Athleta, another piece I found. I, I was finding some good stuff in the women's section today. So it's an Athleta size small. It was only five bucks, half off 10. Really nice, like side zip. I found a Lululemon today that had also this little side zip, but we ended up leaving it because they wanted 25 for it. This one was only five, nice Athleta. This again, we'll still list it. It'll still sell, um, but we're gonna we're gonna list it last. I agree. Surf's up agrees. Next up, small North Face. We did pay up for this, but it's a men's small, so men's is a little bit better of resell. I wish it was a little bit of a better size though. But it's a full zip. It's got a hood. North Face sweater even has that North Face hit on the front with that front zipper. So again, this should go for like thirty-five, and it should be a pretty quick seller. So. Nice little scoop. All right. Then I'm, I'm really happy today. Uh, you guys will see it in the live thrift in the first part when I put it up. I went straight to the short sleeves today because we need more short sleeves for our inventory. We have a lot of long sleeves, a lot of jackets. So I made sure I hit the short sleeve first and then moved my way down. I'm glad I did because I found a bunch of Patagonia today. So Patagonia, good size, size 2XL. And it was only $6.50. It was half off. Patagucci. Nice short sleeve, perfect time of the year. Pick one of these up. Um, this should go for about 30 to 35 and it should sell super fast. So always pick up Patagucci anytime you find it. Patagucci is king. Next up, I don't normally pick up this brand, but this was a good pattern and it was really cheap. Um, this is a rod and gun. It was only four bucks. Here's that label, rod and gun. These used to sell really well about three years ago and the brand fell off a little bit. But I figured based off the style of this, it will probably move this time of year quicker than any time of year. Um, if I would have found this in the, the winter, I probably would have left it. It's also a decent size and a size XL. So rod and gun, uh, we'll try this one out, see if this brand's still moving. Um, I've had a couple listed like shorts and rod and gun and they haven't moved in a while. So I'm kind of like up in the air about rod and gun right now, but we'll try. We'll try. Next up, Surf's Up favorite brand, right? Surf's Up's your favorite brand. Tommy Brohama, really good Tommy Bahama shirt. Alexa's, Alexa's, Alexa's talking to us right now. <laughs> Eight bucks is what we paid for this one. Really good pattern on this Tommy. Um, this is what you're looking for when you find your Tommy Bahamas. Just a really nice, solid, 100% silk Tommy Bahama. Easy seller this time of year. That might be one that we throw up on whatnot too, just for shits and gigs. I can say that now because uh, we're not we're not on TikTok anymore. 
Uh, next up, we, we got a Patagonia, another size 2XL. This one was $750, a little bit more expensive. Brohama, a little bit more expensive, but I think this might be linen. Um, if it's not linen, that it is cotton, but it's like one of those tricky cottons that feel like linen. Um, it says organic it says orga cotton. Okay, it is organic cotton. Never mind. It says it right on our tag. I should have read that. But good size on this. This is like a $25 to $35 seller all year round. So Thomas Brohamas for the win. You already know. Tommy Brohama. Tommy for your mommy, as Rally Roots would say. But that was for Tommy Hilfiger, not Tommy Bahama. Next up, we have a Peter Millar. It's a Peter Millar Summer Comfort. Um, we only paid $6.50 for it. It did pay up a little bit more than I'd like, but it has only a minimal embroidery on the front. And I actually got to look that one up to see if it's anything good. Maybe somebody in the chat, some of you golfers in the chat can tell me, is that like a good golf club logo right there? Sometimes these like single head ones can be pretty good. I know there's an Indian head one, but that one has a circle around it and it doesn't look anything like that. But uh, it's a nice one, size XL, no flaws on it. So figured we pick this one up. But like I said, I'm going to look up that golf club embroidery and see if it's anything good. Next up, won't get too deep into this one because you guys already know you pick these up, right? Surf's up. You always pick up Tommy Brahama any time of the week. Tommy Bahama, um, size XL, good pattern on this one. Um, I did pay up for these. We paid um, 10 bucks. But again, this is like minimum. I'll list this for 35 because it's a good size. It's a good pattern. Um, to be honest, I'll probably list it for 40, but yeah. Looks like something in DC. I'll look. Yeah, DC. Okay. Something in DC for the golf club embroidery. All right, this is a pretty cool find. Some of you vintage heads in the chat. Uh, we don't have that many people over here right now, but um, this is a really cool find. So this is a Levi's. Ten dollars. How can that's how I care about. <laughs> Um, Levi's, this is an older Levi's tag. It is made in the USA. The, the tag is barely legible, but on the back, I don't know if you guys could even read that. Um, right there, you can see it says made in the USA. Um, I'm assuming this is Sherpa or Shearling. Shearling is the better one, right? It's one of those, but it's a really nice vintage Levi's jacket. What's up, Juan? Old school, definitely. So, um, I believe this is a women's. It says size 42 on it. I guess that could be a men's too. Um, but I, the material tag is cut out. I can't see what the material is made out of. I don't think it has one at the bottom, but it is definitely an older um, older style. So that Levi's is fire. Yes. And it was only, it was on a new rack and it was only 10 bucks, which is absolutely insane on a new rack for this Levi's jacket. So I'm going to do more research on that label and try to figure out if that label is truly like, obviously it's vintage, but like how vintage it is. And based off the year, that's how you price it. So Sherpa. Yeah. That, I believe that is Sherpa. So normally all the older ones have the Sherpa and they don't have the shearling. Next up another, um, this was actually in the men's section. It's a women's jacket, but this is a polo sport. Women's Ralph Lauren says sports women. It's a barn jacket. We did pay full price for it. I paid 13, which isn't that bad. Um, it's got that corduroy collar and it is a barn jacket. So anytime you find these with like the corduroy collar and they look like this, like that khaki multiple pocket, you call it a barn jacket. You put that into your listing. It'll sell a lot better. Shout out wagon. That's the first guy I heard call these barn jackets. But really, really nice, 13 bucks. I haven't looked up comps, but if I were to just throw a guess, I'm assuming this is like anywhere between 40 and 60 bucks. This is going to go into the future list during winter pile because obviously this time of year, this thing isn't going to move that well. But um, still, easy, easy list uh, later on. And uh, later on, uh, when we get closer to winter, that'll sell really, really well. I'm looking for a women's pleated Dockers denim jacket. Okay, love that quarter collar. It is a nice one. That label looks like the 70s. Nice. Okay. That's even better. If it's the seventies, that's going to be worth good, good money. Good, good money. Um, those coveralls, um, uh, I got sold for 35 bucks plus shipping. Let's go. Um, I had a bean jacket like that back in 96. I would not save that for winter. Maybe we'll list it. So what we're planning to do is we're going to list like all of our short sleeve stuff. And obviously if we run out of stuff to list, then we're going to go into the, uh, you know, winter list pile and start listing some of those stuff. But, um, yeah, I, I want to get all the short sleeve stuff listed because we have so much winter stuff listed that we've been listing for 
you know, months and months. And obviously this time of year, it's not moving. So I'm going to put all the short sleeve stuff ahead of everything else. And then we'll go back and list all the like cold weather gear, but I'll still list it. If I don't have anything to list, you know, I'm going to list something. All right. We got four more bags to go. <clears throat> still lots of goodies in here. Like these bags are massively full. Lots and lots of goodies. So I paid up for this, paid $12.50 for it. Some of you guys probably wouldn't pay that much for these. Um, but these are nice Peter Millars. Peter Millar, size 40, really good size. And you're always looking for the Peter Millar with this like cloud pattern on the back. They sell a little bit better. They're like their performance line. I think they're like kind of similar to like a summer comfort almost, even though they don't say summer comfort on the back. But just really nice pants. Um, we'll, we'll list these ASAP. These will sell year round. Everybody's picking up pants right now. Especially people going to like, you know, are, isn't like prom soon yes, for high school? Season. So yeah, like the, the, the pants like that will sell for like prom and stuff like that. Next up, ten dollars. We did pay up for these. I wish they were cheaper. Piranha. They are a smaller size. They're a size thirty, but Piranha performance pants tend to do really good for us. Actually, the women's have been selling better than the men's for us, um, but still really nice pants. They're kind of like similar to North Face, Mountain Hardware. Arcteryx, those kind of brands. Um, Piranha is kind of like the lower end line of those, but these should still do really, really well. All right, I don't normally pick up plain Tommies, um, but this one was cheap enough for me to for me to pay. Um, this was only five bucks. It is 100% silk, and it does have a pattern going all throughout it. You can kind of see it in the light right there. So as long as these are cheap, five bucks, I'll pick these up. I'm going to sell this for probably 25 bucks. Um, and it should sell pretty quick. I wish it was a bigger size, but it should sell pretty quick. So rocking those PDMs, that, that'll probably be the coolest kid in the, in the whole high school rocking Peter Millar's hit up uptown cheapskate consignment store. No, we're probably going to do that on um, Friday because we're going to the other one that's closer to that store. So Elliot, we're probably going to go, uh, yeah, on Friday to uptown cheapskate. I already told her that we're probably going to go there. So next up. We have another Tommy Bahama. This one is a way better size. It's a size 2XL. Tommy Bahamas in size 2XL have really good sell through rate. Look them up on eBay. Even plain color ones like this do really well. This one was only five bucks. So I'm going to probably list this one for 35 free shipping. It's got that nice pattern. You can see it right there. So 35 free shipping. See what kind of offers come in. Um, I normally try to steer clear of the solid color ones, but those were cheap enough for me to, for me to pick up. Another brand that doesn't do that well, but it was cheap. It's only three bucks. And I'm probably gonna list this super cheap just to move it super fast. RJC, it is a good size too. It's size 2XL. It has a really nice pattern on it. Um, last one of these I sold, I think I sold for like 22 bucks. So that's probably what I'll list this one for, but it's just got a really, really nice pattern. These used to sell back like four years ago. These used to move really well. And the brand is like really watered down now on eBay. So any of them with these crazy patterns on them, I'll pick up. They're not as good and well-made as Tommy Bahama. And the way you can tell is the pattern on the front doesn't match up. So if this was a Tommy Bahama, the pattern would match up all the way around. Whereas these brands, they don't match up, which means they're not as well-made. Um, but these will still sell. So uh, how would you resell the pattern for Tommy Bahama um, for an XL and 2XL? 2XLs, this was last year. If Shout out uh, Resell Ninja. He actually said this on one of his videos on TikTok. And I looked it up and he was accurate. Um, Tommy Bahamas in size 2XL had 100% sell through rate last year. If you look them up right now, they probably don't because you have winter data in there. But as you get through the middle of the summer, the, the sell through rate will probably increase back to that 100% because bigger sizes sell better. So, um, yeah, they should go back to 100% sell through rate. So, yeah, slaying that problem. Tommy Bahama with a little Peter Millar. Oh, he'd be, he'd be, he'd be the talk of the town, Chris. That's probably what you were. You're probably rocking a flannel the problem, weren't you? Next up, we got, we got a Patagucci. I got Kayla laugh on that one. Patagucci, this we paid six fifty for. Again, a nice size, size two XL. We had to put one of these back because it had stains. Um, so that was really sad. It was actually the long sleeve with the double breast pocket, and I was really bummed because we were gonna pay ten bucks for it, and that would go for forty all day. Um, but that's okay. Uh, we still got other ones. This one paying six fifty for it. 35 is what this will probably sell for and sell pretty quick. So which is RJC's. Yeah, they, I wish they did too. They, they have really, most of them have really good patterns, but they just don't move as well as they used to. Way back in the day, back, back in my day, uh, things just picked up a few for $4. Nice. I wore a white suit to prom. I, I could see Chris rocking a white suit immediately. With, with flannel 
Yeah. Yeah. With flannel <laughs> pants. Did you have, did you have flannel pants underneath? You're like, if I can't rock a flannel, I at least got to have them on the bottoms. So I did a video on Tommy Bahama. Uh, nice. You'll do post it soon. Awesome. I'm also starting the task of measuring tomorrow. That should be a lot of fun. The good thing about most Tommy Bahamas, if you get most in the same size, they pretty much will measure the same. The only issues you're going to have is if they're silk and people wash them and sometimes they shrink, but um, you shouldn't have any issues as long as they're in good condition. This is a good one. This Tommy Bahama size large. We paid 10 bucks for it. We did pay up, but the pattern is what sold me on it. See how that pattern matches up on the front compared to the RJC. That's why Tommy Bahama is a little bit more sought after because they just make their shirts way more quality. Like all the patterns will match up in the front. Whereas that RJC was way off the pattern, but there's it. There it is right there. hundred percent silk. Good pickup. That'll sell perfectly this time of year. Lots of men's items, lots of men's items. Um, this is, we paid 10 bucks for it. I normally don't like paying 10 bucks for Peter Millar, but it was a good size, size two XL. Again, bigger sizes sell better. Just a nice long sleeve shirt. I'll list this one for $35 free shipping. And this will probably sell probably within a month or two. These don't move super fast, but I'll pick it up if it's got a bigger size. Again, I hit the short sleeves and I hit them hard. Another Tommy Bahama basic color on this one. But again, it was super cheap. It was only four bucks. So I was like, you know what? Even though it doesn't have a nice pattern on it, it does. But it's like one of those jacquard print patterns. You can see it right there. Um, it, these aren't as sought after because they're harder to see the pattern. Um, but again, 25 bucks, list it, see how it goes. I sold a bunch of those last year, plain ones, and they did pretty good for me. So shout out Surf's Up. He loves Tommy Bahama. Surf's Up, let me know when you sell your next one, okay? Can Kayla come out and play? I'll let her do a couple. You want to do a couple? You can do you can do some men's. You know what you're talking about. This is a this is a uh, another Peter Millar um, 750. This one was half off. Uh, just a nice pattern to this one. This is like a 25 to 35 because it's not a bigger size, but that size medium, it's not as sought after. Let's see what we got next. Another Patagucci size XL on this one. I'm assuming the same person probably donated all of these. Paid 750 for it. Nice long sleeve. This is similar to the other one that we had to put back. Oh, I thought it was Pearl Snap for a second. It has a double pocket on the front, which is pretty cool. Double um, zip pocket as well, too. I've never seen one like this. But yeah, Patagucci, 35 bucks, easy peasy. Super nice. Someone in the villages die. So many Tommy Bahamas. Surf's up. You, you need to go watch my YouTube video, Surf's up, when I unbox 200 Tommy Bahamas. You'll be in heaven. Lots of Columbia out there. <laughs> Um, do you think it's worth reselling? I don't pick up anything Columbia unless it's vintage Columbia, like, you know, big, heavy, like camo jackets. Those do really well. But if it's just Columbia, like fishing shirts, I normally pass on those all the time. Next up, we got a Lacoste. Lacoste. This is a men's size large and it was only $7.50. I've been moving these really well on Mercari, actually. These have been moving super well. Last one I sold... I think sold for 35 bucks within like four days of me listing. And it was the long sleeve Lacoste, not the short sleeve polos, but the ones that look like this with the alligator on the front moves really well. So I'll list that one to Mercari also and see how well it sells. Here's a Bolo brand for you all in the chat ministry of supply. These, I haven't looked up comps recently, but I know these are super rare to find out there. I, I find these like maybe once or twice every year. Um, 750 is what I paid for it. I think the last one I sold sold for 35 and it sold really fast. So that's probably about where this one is. This is a nice, like stretchy, like polyester type of shirt. Good brand to be on the lookout for ministry of supply size large too, which is a decent size, large slim I actually sold something on Mercari today to Tokyo. Let's go. You did really, did he actually buy something to you from you on Mercari? He needs to buy something for me on Mercari next. Shout out Surf's Up again, using the Surf's Up method on these. Um, this is a $5 Ralph Lauren shirt. I'm going to list this one for probably, what size is it? Size large. Um, probably list this one for like anywhere between $15 to $17.99 um, plus shipping. See how well these do. Like I said, I got a bunch of these recently, so I'm going to do them all in one day. I'll probably be able to list all like 10 to 15 of these within like an hour or two, and then we'll let you know how they do. Next up, this is a Robert Graham that you guys might pass on, but you shouldn't pass on it. Paid $17.50 for it. I know I paid up. Paid $17.50, but this is a really good Robert Graham. Anytime you can find a Robert Graham solid black with a paisley print all through it, 
pick it up every single time. This is an easy like $70 shirt all day long. It also has a flip cuff and it has a really good pattern on that flip cuff. It's got that contrasting to the collar. Super nice. Um, this is, I'm probably gonna list this for $69.99 and it'll sell really fast. It is a size, actually, no, I'm not gonna list it that high. I'm probably gonna list it for 50 because it is a size extra small. I didn't look at the size. So it's a little bit of a harder size to sell an extra small. So I'm still gonna list it up for 50. I wish this was a little bit bigger. I should have known this, this was an extra small. But anyways, still get around 54. It should sell really well. But always pick up these. Whenever they have the Paisley print going all throughout them, always pick these up. So, But 70, yes, I've sold these for 70 all day long. That one's not going to go because it's an extra small now. Wah, wah, wah. Wah, wah, wah. Next up, we got an Untuck It size XL. Five bucks is what we paid for this one. Good size. We actually picked up a couple Untuckets today. Again, Solid Black does really well for Untuckets. Um, so I'm going to list this one for probably 35 free ship and probably take an offer on it for somewhere around 30. So I got rubber grim like that um, with a small stain on the chest in a, my dump pile. You still should probably list that, Robert. Um, somebody might actually buy that to try to get the stain out. Um, I would still list it and list it for... If it's the same kind, I would list it. If it's a flip cuff and solid black and paisley, I'd probably still list it for like $24.99. You'll probably still sell it for that price. I want red, white, and blue. Um, these are all great finds in one store. Yeah, one store, all from one store. So I have one are of those in my store. The XL, I think, though. Yeah, I can see the comments. No, are you showing them? Oh, no, I'm not showing the comments. I probably should, like this, like Joel said, yeah. the Robert Graham. Um, I tried, but I couldn't get it out. You can still um, still list that. Still list it. Trust me. Um, people will still pay up for that. Well, not paying up for it, but they'll still buy it because it, it's a Robert Graham. And some people don't care. If they wear it like underneath like a jacket or something, you, they won't see the stain anyway. Next up, we have a um, Ralph Lauren size large. Again, we're going to use a surf up method on these. We paid five bucks for them. Five and under is what we're trying to stick to when it comes to these. This is like the performance line too, I believe. Um, it definitely doesn't, it does, it's not all cotton because it's a little bit stretchy. Um, so good find on that one. Oh, does it? Stay Where is that? Oh, I think that'll come out though. Yeah. Okay, I asked my chat um, today and everybody confirmed that this is legit. <laughs> I actually left it last week because I thought it wasn't. Um, but this is a Burberry flip cuff. Is a nice Burberry London flip cuff. It is a size large. Really nice. Solid black. Has the flip cuff right there. Uh, these I list for 100. As long as they have the flip cuff. Um, solid black. I list these for 100 all day long. This has a small mark on it, Kayla said. It's on the sleeve. It's like on the sleeve somewhere. So we'll throw it in the wash. I can't really see it on the camera. But um, I sold. Uh, last week I listed the blue one that I had. And I took an offer of 75. It sold in like two days. So I'll probably do the same for this. I'll list it for 100. Somebody offers me 75. I'll take 75 all day long. But uh, I sell these on Poshmark full price usually. I'm surprised that one didn't sell on Poshmark. But Burberry, flip cuff. Um, got that Nova check. Always look for the Nova check. For sure, sell Robert Graham blemishes 100%. Ruffler and performance sells well. Um, fight off the low ballers. Get cash for sure. Nice. You got another one. I did get another one. We actually left that one last week because I thought it was not legit. This one is a probably hold and list later on. This is a Duluth, but we only paid five bucks for it. And it is a shirt jacket. It's a shacket. It's got a nice liner on the inside. Nice, heavy shacket. I sold one of these. Like I think it was the same exact pattern. Um, I think it was for 35 bucks, but this was like three months ago, back when it was actually cold out. Now this one won't move as well. So this will go into the list at a later time pile. As soon as we can get to it, we'll list it. Um, but yeah, uh, we'll hold on to that one. Save it for when it's actually going to sell. I'm going to throw these over there. Yeah. Another, oh, this is a good one. We did pay up for these though, unfortunately. And I had to leave one behind because it had holes in it. But this is a Pendleton. We paid 15 for it. So Sir Pendleton, it is 100% um, wool, I believe. I didn't read the tag, but it says fine worst, worsted wool. So I believe that's 100% wool. It's, I'm not going to look at the inside tag, but I'm pretty sure this is 100% wool. Um, I normally list these for, you know, middle of winter. These were selling for me for anywhere between 35 and 50, depending on the style or depending on the size. 
This one is a size 2XL, which is really good. So I'll probably list this one for around 50. This is another item that will sell year round. So I'll still list this even though we're not in the middle of winter. So, and then another item I'm going to hold off. Um, this is a really good one. Really good. Um, I wish I found this like three months ago because this would have sold so fast. I sold, again, I believe I sold this exact pattern, but it was a bigger size. It's an L.L. Bean chamois shirt. Uh, we paid full price eight bucks for it, but look at that pattern. Chris, wouldn't this look great on you? This would look great on me, actually. I look like at that. that. That is, it's the pattern is so nice on this. It's a very folly. Yeah, it's like perfect. This is like September, October, November. List, right list there. this in September. This thing is going to fly because the person that buys this will be able to wear it for like three months straight every single day and they'll get so many compliments on it. But really nice um, LL Bean chamois. This is something that would never sell in Florida. <laughs> Nobody would ever buy that. But wait, there's more. Sirs are 100%. 100%. 100% wool. Yeah, it feels like 100% wool. All right, here's a really good find. I don't know. I have to do more research on this. I did a little comp checking, but there wasn't many comps out there. It has a detachable hood, which is even cooler. So we paid $12.50 for this. Whoever was skipping through this the whole week, you probably could have paid $25 and made good money on it. Um, but we paid $12.50 for it. This is a Ministry of Supply. So if you guys remember, I just got a shirt that was Ministry of Supply. This is a jacket. That is Ministry of Supply. I don't believe it's down. I think it's a polyester fill. It is. It's a polyester fill, but this is a good brand to be on the lookout for. It's a full jacket. Really nice. Black Ministry of Supply. Um, based off comps, I saw a couple that were listed for like 80, but they weren't as nice as this one. So I got to do more comps. I probably got to look at Terapeak and like research what these have been selling for these ones. Um, but really nice pickup on that one. I'll let you guys know what I listed for. Again, this will probably be listed later on in the year, but... Um, I'm assuming that's at least a hundred dollar jacket minimum. Oh, pumpkin spice shirt. That's what it, yeah, it looks like pumpkin spice. What am I doing? I'm grabbing off the spot. It does look like a pumpkin spice. It does look like pumpkin spice. You're right. It's a pumpkin spice. Um, sold that exact one a couple months ago for 50. Do you mean the uh, LL Bean? Good. That's awesome. I like to, I like to hear that. Next up, we have a North Face men's size large. Again, an item we're probably going to hold on to and list at a later date. Uh, we did pay full price for this. We paid 10 bucks, but 10 bucks for a North Face jacket. Like, come on. It's a high vent as well. Get the high vent hit at the bottom. $10 high vent men's North Face. Really, really nice. Has that nice liner on the inside too. Got the North Face hit on the back. Perfect pickup. I'll pick these up all year round. I don't care if it's 100 degrees out here in Florida. I will still pick those up because those are really good to list um, wintertime. Next up, we have a $6.50 pair of Piranha shorts these are a 33 pair of piranha shorts really nice um, probably like 25 on these i expect to sell these for um, i wish these were like more polyester these are like heavier cotton so only one like i can't tell how many likes we have but if we only have one like on facebook you guys are all slacking especially on youtube too you guys should be liking that liking the youtube bid like it up like it up all right so if you guys watch the live thrift i believe it's the first part I was in the pants section and I found these. These were $7.99, but right next to them, they had a pair for like $34.99. I don't know what they were smoking in the back, but this is a pair of Peter Millar size 40 pair of pants. Perfect time of year to pick these up. Everybody's out golfing and having fun outside. People are picking up Peter Millar. There's that back hit on it as well. So $35 is what I expect to sell these for. They should move pretty quick. Um, are you marking these by any chance? I don't believe you marked those. They're about white. They're right white. Yeah. They white. They white. All right. So the goose down jacket yesterday. Primo winter stuff sells year round. Quit telling people wait to list. I'll fight you. I'm not saying wait to list. I'm saying that I'm going to list all my, um, I'm listing all of my obviously stuff that's going to sell like right now. Like I'd rather list a short sleeve Patagucci shirt over a down jacket because I literally have hundreds, not hundreds. I literally have probably about 70 jackets listed right now. And I'm selling short sleeve way faster. I'm selling long sleeve. So still list your stuff. If you, if you only pick up, you know, obviously we're getting a huge thrift haul. So if we're picking up a hundred items, I'm going to list all the short sleeve first. And then if I can't get to them before I go thrifting again, I'll put those off to the side. And then eventually I'll get around to them, especially when we start hiring help. I think we'll definitely get around to them. Next up. This is a really good brand to be on the lookout for. You guys already know 
I found this a few times and I keep finding it. It's Todd Snyder, Todd Snyder pair of pants. Um, I'm assuming just based off what Todd Snyder has sold it for me in the past. Here's that back hit on it. I'm assuming that these will probably go for like 40 to 50. Um, but I got to do some more comps on these. I didn't even have to look up comps. I know for eight bucks, Todd Snyder is always going to be a pickup. So you got to mark those as well. Next up we have for 750. 750, another pair of Pita Malaws. I'll list these ASAP. Again, everybody's out golfing. So these chinos are selling very well. Um, 35 bucks is what I expect to sell these for. Let's see what else we have in the, in the bag of goodies. Well, this one I might have paid too much for them. I didn't look up comps and I meant to before I bought them. Um, but these are Mountain Hardware. They are brand new with tags. And these are, we paid $17.50 for these. So maybe you guys can tell me if I did a did a good thing or a bad thing. Brand new with tags. I'm expecting these to maybe go for around $40. Um, they're not, are they double need? They are double need, it looks like. I don't know. They're like lightweight. Even if they're double need, I don't think it'll really... You know, if you scrape them, they'll probably put a hole in them. But Mountain Hardware, seventeen fifty. I meant to look up comps before I bought these, but either way, I'll at least be able to make my money back and make a little bit of profit. But maybe I paid a little bit too much for those. Next up, here's another item that Chris will love that I'm going to hold and wait to list, and that is a J. Crew um, jacket. We paid five bucks for this J. Crew. It's a really nice buffalo plaid. Um, I don't pick up all J crew, but this pattern is like super sellable sells all year round. Um, not all year round, but it sells well in the winter time. And this has a nice, like, um, Sherpa Sherpa liner, I think is what you call it. Not shearling. Yeah. Shearling is a better one. Sherpa liner, just a really nice J crew piece. And this is a size, it's a size medium, but it'll still sell. It's again, an item that I'm going to hold shout out Chris at peak. I'm going to hold this, um, due to Chris's information. He told me to hold all these. I list that before bed tonight. I just, uh, Chris, I get too much stuff. I can't, I'd rather hold that stuff and uh, list it when I'm going to get premium prices. That's what, that's all I'm saying. Marmot size medium. Um, we did pay up for this. We paid 15 for it and it does have a mark on the front. So we're going to have to wash it. Um, you can kind of see it right there. A little gunk mark, a little, probably a little snot mark right there. So I have to throw this into the wash, but uh, it's got a nice hood on it. I think the hood might be detachable. No, it's not detachable. But it's hooded, marmot, really good marmot piece. Appreciate you, Trisha. Appreciate you. A red hand pointing up. Trisha gave me a red hand pointing up. That's what I see in the chat. That's all I see. It just says red hand pointing up. A super nice um, full zip marmot. Uh, we'll hold that one, list that one as soon as we're ready. Shout out Chris at Peak for telling me to do that. Uh, that's a classic looking shirt. It is a nice classic looking shirt. Do you have the, oh, there I have them right here. Scissors. Oh, I just got my, no, I'm just kidding. Seasonal seller. Yeah. Seasoner, seasonal seller. I do. I, I like, I like, uh, I like that method because like, obviously we get, we get so much stuff that I would rather just put that stuff off to the side and then like surfs up said start September 1st, just start listing it. And then I can just focus on, you know, picking up more short sleeve stuff that's going to sell this time of year. And then right when it becomes winter time, then switch my sourcing tactics tactic. So like, again, today you guys saw me go straight to the short sleeve. I'm going to hit short sleeves and all the stuff that's going to sell this time of year and then go to the, the jackets. And then as soon as we get closer to winter time, I'll swap that. Now, if I was going to the thrift store and I was only like finding, let's say 20 items a week, or if I'm finding like 50 items a week and I can get through everything, then hundred percent, I would, I would list everything, but I like the surf sub method when it comes to that. Um, those, uh, selling the winter stuff when it becomes winter. Of course, if I don't have anything else to list, I'm going to list the winter stuff. Next up, by the way, I sold two suits today. Chris, I sold two suits today. Chris, I sold two suits today. That's insane to me. So I had to pick up another suit. It sucks because there was another guy in the suit section. So he beat me to the suits today. I didn't go through the suits because I knew he knew his stuff. He had a cart literally piled up to over his head and he was a tall guy. He was like six foot. I showed it on camera. So if you guys watch the live, you'll see it. I paid up for this one. This was on the money rack. Chris, let me know if I did something good here. Okay. Let me know if I did something good here. Paid 30 bucks, but this is a Zegna. Um, however the hell you pronounce Ermagerd. that word. Ermagerd Zegna. <laughs> Ermagerd Z Zegna. But this is the reason I picked it up. I don't even know what size it is. Hold on. It is a... 
I think it might be a 54. Um, I got to look at this tag a little bit more. But anyways, the reason I picked it up, oh man, the, the light's going to shine on it. Let me try to block the light. Hold on. Pick it up, 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 pick it up. Damn, you can't see it. Okay, you got to trust, trust me when I say this. This is a silk wool blend. So it's 70% silk, 30% wool. I looked these up and some of these were selling for like 200 bucks and others were selling for like 50. So I got to do a little bit more research. It does have a nice pattern to it. It's got that nice pattern. 70% silk, 44. I hope it's a 44. 70% um, silk, 30% um, wool, Zegna jacket. What do you guys think? Did I do good? Did I do bad? Did I do otherwise? But uh, comps looked okay. And I mean, I know silk sells because I've sold a couple silk um, suits for good money. And I know Zegna is a good brand. So you guys let me know. Did I do good? Did I do good? Surf's up. Yeah, Chris and we're going to have to scrap with Chris after this live. Surf's up. We're going to have to all fight it out. We're going to duke it out. 100. Let's go. Uh, found a Brooks Brothers 1818. 100% camel hair for 15. I think I picked up a camel hair as well, too. Um, knew those suits are a thousand plus. I know. That's why I looked up comps and they were saying like some of them were going for 250. So I'll make sure I research that a little bit more and um, list it. I'm going to list it lower than comps because I like to move suits fast because I don't have a lot of room to store them in my house. So I want to move them super fast. I'll actually lay down arms, save your heavy stuff till winter. I'll crush you in the meantime. No beef crush. You gotta find silver brands. Tommy Bahama down. Tommy Bahama sells well. <laughs> um, untuck it size three XL. Really good size on this one. Untuck it. We only paid five bucks for this. So this is like a $35 untuck it all day long, just based off that size. Really good size on that one. Here's a good one. I think Surf's Up, you found one of these recently. Buttercloth. This is one of my favorite brands to sell. These sell so freaking fast. And this is a solid black, which is even better. Uh, we did pay up for it. I paid 10 bucks for it, but I've sold Buttercloth for 45 bucks super fast. So this will probably go for that price too. It's a flip cuff, as you can see right there. Really, really nice butter cloth. The reason they call them butter cloth is because if you ever get one of these in your hand, they're just buttery smooth on the inside. So shout out to Red, White, and Blue. They try to price these up, but I left it there, and people don't really know about butter cloth, so it was there the following week. Uh, I want to live – I want a live debate on seasonal selling. We can do that. We can set it up. I, I can do that with Chris. Uh, 3XL, this is a $5 – Another Untuck It, solid blue. By the way, within Untuck It, uh, let me see if this one's going to be one of the newer styles. Okay, so all the Untuck It's, this is actually a Fall 17 shirt. All Most most all Untuck It shirts will have the actual name of the shirt on the inside. So as you can see, this says um, St. Chamant, 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 something like that, C-H- a M A N T. It says it right there. It's the actual style name of the shirt. If you put that into your listing, it'll actually help sell your shirt because some people are looking for this exact style because they're all made a little bit different. Like this one has that front pocket right there. So put that in your listing title. It'll help you sell your untuckets. Almost all untuckets have that on the, on the uh, inside. Only second one I've seen. Nice. All right. Here's another good find. I wish this had the hood though. I found out from the tag after the live that this is supposed to have a fur hood. And you can tell because around the hood, there's a zipper, which means it's supposed to have a fur hood. This is a vintage. It's an extra small, but it's a Woolrich made in USA down jacket. And this price is ridiculous. It was only 10 bucks for a nice Woolrich down jacket. Again, Chris, I'm gonna list this later on in the year. I'm sorry, buddy. This will be in my, if you wanna come rob me, Chris, this will be in my, uh, this will be in my garage, just chilling in a bin. If you want to come rob me, but this is a nice, it's extra small, which hurts it a little bit. But, um, I think a woman would even, even pick this up because this will be like a woman size large, but really nice. 10 bucks. Can't go wrong. I think you guys are going to see in the near future, the prices at my store for jackets and sweaters start dropping because obviously the middle of the summertime, none, none of those are going to sell in the store that I go to. They get so many of them. So I wear all my untuckets tucked in. You, you're, you're a rebel. You don't even, you don't even wear them untucked. I like it. Um, nice. That's what uh, shows up backwards. Nice that, that nothing shows up. Oh yeah. Cause I flipped the camera. I'm, I, I, I got a little smarter with this. Wish he'd pin our awesome comments. I wish he would too. That Kateway doesn't know what he's doing. 
This live is sick. So good that goose will sell tomorrow. No joke. Well, unfortunately, I'm not going to list it tomorrow, so I can't sell. <laughs> Next up, this is going to be a cool shirt, a really cool find right there. Um, $6.50. I think it's a big, oh no, it's a size large, but cool is an excellent brand to be on the lookout for. Look at that. It's got like a contrasting trim. You can see that back. Really, really nice. Well, not contrasting, but like different color. Got the double breast pocket on this. Cool sells super fast. So I'm going to list this for 35 and it'll sell probably ASAP. So loving the bromance that goes on here. Oh, you already know. You already know. We're fighting. We're, we're, we're having a, we're having a couple's argument right now. Okay. So just bear with us. We'll get over it here shortly. Um, this is a 25. I did pay up for these. I know some of you guys would be like, you paid way too much, but these are rock revival men's rock revivals. I do pay up for these because they sell really well for us. So this exact style, I believe we saw comps for $70 plus shipping. So I'll list these for 80. I don't believe there's any in this size currently listed and style. And this is one of the better for this style because it's the dark wash and it's got the really nice, like lighter stitching, which like pops whenever somebody wears these. It also has this little guy on it. And anytime you find one with this little like doohickey on the front, they normally sell really well. So rock revival men's, if these were women's, I would not pay 25 for these, but these are men's. So that's why I paid 25 for them. Don't go all willy nilly and start picking up some women's rock revivals. Never found the one like that for sure. Up, oh, we got laughers in the chat. Look at this. I'm pinning everybody's comment. I'm a pro. All right. This is another one that uh, Chris, I will be putting off listing till I can get around to it. This is an LL Bean. Don't pick up LL Bean jeans unless they're flannel lined or you can get them really cheap. So this is a flannel lined pair of LL Beans. Great size on these, size 38. Um, I was selling these in the middle of winter for 40 bucks all day, every day, simply because people like that flannel line jean, keeps their legs a little bit more warm. Obviously here in Florida, we have no need for that, but there we go. Nice flannel line, LL Bean. Chris, should I list this right now? Is this going to sell for 40 bucks right now? Should I do it? How about this one, Chris? Chris, should I list this one right now? Should I do it? This is another LL Bean. We did pay a little bit more for this. This is a different size. But they were asking eight for these. I don't know why the other one was six and these were eight, um, but I'll still pick these up all day. Flannel lined LL Beans. Again, hold them off. List them winter time. 40 bucks is what I expect to sell those for. Perfect for fall, definitely. Perfect for, <laughs> look at this. Look at what Sarah said. He said, perfect for, and they spelled fall in all capitals. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Next up, we got some AG. Um, I did pay up for these. I pay up for AG. I know some of you out there in the chat world, you guys say you can't sell AG that well. Men's AG, I list these for 45 bucks. I will list these for 45. They're not going to sell super fast in most cases, but they will sell for 45 bucks. So anywhere between 35 and 45. If I have to take an offer on these, I will. Um, but AG always sells good, um, especially if they're bigger sizes. This one is a size 33. So it'll be a little bit harder to move for that $45 price, but I'll still list them high. Next up, we have a pair of Piranha. They have a bunch of these, but I saw there was another lady at the end. She had like four of these in her cart. So she beat me to the short section and she got almost all of the Piranha shorts. Um, I saw these all there last week. So she's probably watching me right now. Hi. Hi. She probably found all of them because she watched my live. Damn it. I should stop doing lives there, right? I'm just kidding. $10 um, Piranha men's pants. 35 bucks. 30, 35 bucks. Free ship. Yeah, free ship. Free ship on those. If I'm not going to do free ship, I'll let you guys know I'm going to not do free ship. So looking for Joel on TikTok. Joel, leave your, um, leave your, uh, on Facebook, leave your uh, TikTok name so they can go follow you over on TikTok. What's the smallest size of, smallest size of AG jeans you would pick up? Um, thir under 32 is a little bit harder to sell. 32 is like already small enough. So like 31, 29s are super hard to move. If I'm picking up a size 29 pair of AGs, I'm paying $5 or under for those. So yeah, there he is right there. Pretty good resells. Last bag, everybody. Last bag. Appreciate everybody hanging out over here on YouTube and TikTok or YouTube and Facebook. Sorry. TikTok was not loading today. Oh, this is yours. You can hop on camera now. It's your turn. I need a drink anyway. Kayla's back. Kayla's back. Of course, it's my bag. Back That's again. The last bag. Kayla's back. Hello, friend. Yay. Now I'm tired. Now I'm tired. Some figs. A figs set. Another fig set. 
figured it out. Um, yeah. So we already same set as last week. We already just sold found another one. We already sold our pair from last week for forty bucks. Well, so, we suck. <laughs> so this is a pair of pants, and then it has the shirt. These are, she said, two different sizes. What's I think so. When I looked, like after the live, as we were cashing out, I'm like, oh crap, these are two different sizes. This is, a, this this a, is a large. Okay, so this is a medium pair of pants. That's a large shirt. So we might split this up. I'm going to see how they're these listed. These are the joggers, though. These are really good. Yeah, I'm going to see how these are listed. If somebody has, like, a large shirt and a pair of medium pants, then we might put these together and just let people know they're two different sizes. Because I'm assuming some people probably wear medium, you know, tops and large pants or reverse. So we might actually lot these up. I'm going to look on eBay because um, these will sell a lot better lotted. They'll sell in, like, a day lotted. And unlotted, it'll take a little bit longer. Yeah, the, so. the one we sold before so, was, like, uh, show the label 40, 45 bucks for a set. Figs. Yep. Just the plus. Just says figs. It's and a, then it's like a you'll scrubs. see these on the back of the pants. These are medical scrubs. Yep. And they are super comfy. The I can understand best, why they buy these. The best brand of medical scrubs that you can buy, and they because they resell very well. They're like they're like <laughs> the most popular medical scrubs you can buy. Here I go. You got that one? Okay. Oh. Go ahead. You got it. Okay. Oh, yeah. I'm right there for you. I, was just trying to mark I don't know what I found, guys. Lulu Lemon of Scrubs. Yes, that's exactly what they are. Yes. Six bucks, some ragged bones. These are 28s. Why we grabbed them. 28s, good bone. size. Good brand. 28 up for women. Skinny jeans. <clears throat> figs for the win. Figs for the win. Love the figs. I like that expression. Lululemon of scrubs. It is. It really is. If I was in the medical field, I would be buying figs. Some made wells. These are a good size. These are 29, and they have the button fly. And we only paid seven bucks for some made well jeans. It wouldn't be a Kayla live if she didn't find Spanx or she at least didn't find some Judy Blues. There was no Spanx today, but I really avoided the pants today. I definitely did the jeans. Judy Blues, good size, and they were only eight bucks. Eight dollars. Those are these 35, are nice distress. They got a nice pattern here. Thirty-five to forty-five all day. What size are those? Thirty-one. Oh, they're thirty-one. So they're going to be close to that forty-five dollar mark. Is yeah. probably where we're going to lose those. These are a good size. I tried to change it up today. I did jeans, and then we did athletic stuff, and then dresses. Changed up the tactics a little bit. More made wells. What are these sizes? What size are these? Thirty one, and these were only six bucks as well. Are these the button fly? No. no. These are normal made well jeans. This kind of almost look like men's for a second. No. Mm, they might, I'll look at them. I'll see if they're men's. They... Now that I'm taking another look, wait, wait a second. No, these are women's because they got the little tag on the inside. The yeah. women's always have that little tag. These are big star jeans. Now, these are small, but um, they say my name on them. So I was like, we might have to get them <laughs> because I did not know they <laughs> not have. Not for the resale value. They just, just have my, my name, name on is them. on them. And I certainly can't wear these because I've never been a 26 in my life, but <laughs> big star in my name. So we grabbed these. Is yours navy blue? What is what navy blue, Joel? The figs? Yeah. The yeah, figs the, figs are are, the figs are navy blue. Beta brands, extra large petites, and these were only two bucks. And these look nice. These look, I don't even think these were two worn. Two bucks for beta brand is crazy. Betas. I haven't found betas Shout in a out while. Goodwill. At Goodwill, those would have been like 10 bucks minimum. <sighs> for real. These are nice. These are comfy. These are, I need to pair my own beta brands. Betas. Betas. More. Madewell's button fly. What size? 30. So it's a good size. Bigger sizes sell better. Yep. Oh, and these have a nice raw head at the bottom. So these are nice. <clears throat> Another one. Another one. Another. We did good at jeans, guys. Another pair of Judy Blues, size 30, and these were only four bucks. Even better. Another one. Love the Judy's. Good finds. Those will sell really fast. Yeah, these so are. There's cool. that. I think that might be the last woman's out of that bag. But yeah, not too too much bullet stuff. Miss Sook. Miss Sook? Miss Sook. Miss Sook. $12. This is a long, ooh, very long, beaded. Um, Leslie, yes, you can buy the uh, Judy Blues. You can have ooh. them for 35 bucks if you want them for 35 Jacket or sweater. That's what I meant. Wade, can you go off screen and let K-Dog crush? He just has to be in the spotlight 24-7, guys. Ask Kat. She knows. She's in the chat. She could agree with me. Is it my turn yet? 
I, I was hiding behind the bar with clothing. I was eating some M&Ms. I think that might be nice. what I was doing. Here, you, you hang out here. I got to have you on camera because uh, I can't let you leave. Otherwise, it looks like I'm hogging the spotlight. Okay. Especially on Instagram for the Judy Bloons. I will Venmo awesome. My, my Venmo is K-Way Shop. So just type in K-Way Shop. Just make sure you see the K-Way Shop um, logo, and that'll be me. As long as you type in K-Way Shop, you should be good. I feel like there was more women stuff. No, I think that no? was it. That was it. We can look at the... The video, your video, but I believe you only had you only had. I like, didn't have too much. I didn't even go through jackets today. Yeah, I you, really changed up like, like everywhere I went today. You put back like four or five items, and you had like yeah. the bottom of the cart. So that's we had we had a really pretty uh Diane. I can't say her name. Diane, Diane Furstenberg silk dress, but it had stains on the back, which we didn't see during the live. But it was uh really pretty, good size too. But she had to get put back. Go ahead, you can keep doing. You got this. <sighs> Chris wants you. You probably left the bag. I hope not. I, hope I would so. be surprised, but I hope not. I hope. I hope that we didn't. That would suck. I don't. I don't think we did. There's no way we did. We have. We have just. I mean, what else did you find? I don't remember. I think that's it. Because last time, remember, you were like, "I found this." Remember, I found this, and then we were like, "Oh yeah, we left the bag." Yeah, I don't we, think I did. You didn't have. You had like the lower part of a cart for the women's, and I had a men's cart that was like this tall. So that that's about accurate. Yeah. Quality. So we had quality stuff, not quantity. That's what that's what it was. You got I got you second guessing. We yeah, we don't know now. <laughs> we have to pass there Friday anyway, I guess. Uh Peter Millar, Summer Comfort, Extra Large, which pay? Seven dollars. Seven doll hairs. It's got a little club embroider on the front, but I don't think it'll What was that? It was Venmo. Oh. Judy's are gone? Thank you. Uh this me. has a stain on it. it. Does? Right there. Yeah, Thank we'll, you, we'll lighting. Try to, we'll try to wash that out. That's, that's oh. something you, you cannot see this in thrift stores, but as soon yeah. as you put it in front of a light kit like this, it's like, bam. I, I, we should just carry this light kit with us and like bring a camera with us. Ah, that's okay. You gave me the dirty clothes to show. Thanks. What, what do we have here? I don't even know what we have anymore. Another Peter Millar for $7. Let's see if there's a stain on this one. I don't think so. This is nice. Oh, it has a dry cleaning tag, so this one's clean. Hopefully. Mm -hmm. This is oh, a nice plaid pattern, Peter Moore. What size is this? Extra so, large. Yeah. Extra large tall there was, XLT. There was a couple Peter Millars that I ended up passing on because there was they were too pricey, but we'll pick them up next week if they're still there. Is this the jackets. Surf's Up shirt here? Yeah, that's the Surf's Up. Surf's Up method. You have your own method. That's Ralph. We're making it famous. Media for $5. I like this pattern. Five dollar plaid. Yeah. Pattern here. These, this I like is, the colors. On this is what Surf's Up says. He always says like those patterns, as long as they have good patterns and they have the pony logo on the front. Yep. Fifteen to eighteen plus ship all day long. Paid five bucks for it. Move it super fast. Get it out the door. I like yeah. that method a lot. That would have been good for Easter. Those yeah, Easter colors. What else do we got? More Peter Millar medium for seven dollars. Another button down plaid. Size medium is like eh. But uh, 25 to 35 is what I'll probably list that at. This is a good one. Oh, I need to mark that one. You can show mark. your stuff. Oh, you got this. I've been on camera too much anymore. Chris is right. Chris is right. Now though. you guys that's got the him all. Thing, that's the only thing Chris was right about tonight. Was <laughs> well, not having you on camera enough. Uh, oh, you don't want to show this one? Go ahead. You got it. I'm <clears throat> losing my voice, though. All right. This one's really nice. A Pendleton, a Sir Pendleton. It's fancy. And it's a 2XL. Mm -hmm. Is this a linen? No, it's wool. Sir oh. Pendies are, like Chris said, Sir Pendies are always 100% wool. Yeah, I guess I mean, it says wool in right there. Yep. 13 bucks. We did pay full price. This one's nice. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Really nice. So that'll be. Sir Pendleton. That'll probably be 50 is what we're probably going to list that one for because it's <laughs> a really good size. So, uh, 50 for two XLs is all day. If this was a two XLT or like an XLT, any like big and tall sizes for Pendleton, always list them to the moon. So if this was a two XLT, I would probably list this for like 79.99 all day long. And it would probably sell really fast for that. Yeah. So big and tall sizes, Pendletons are super rare. Felix, what happened to TikTok? Uh, we struggled with TikTok for like 12, 13 minutes. Both of us tried to get on and the TikTok was not working. TikTok doesn't li li like me, but at least it worked this morning. Like shout out to TikTok for working during the live thrift. Because oh, if yeah, it would have done that weird. during the live thrift, that would have really sucked. But uh, I guess we would have just yeah. done YouTube lives at that point. 
you wouldn't be able to do your live though, because we, we wouldn't be able to do them on both the same. So shout out to TikTok for working yeah. when it needed to work. Ooh. I haven't seen you. Pay. We haven't picked one of these up. It's a little pricey. Is it a maid? What did we pay? Ooh, twelve dollars. Yeah, we paid twelve for a large for trim fit. So like stretch. Like three weeks ago, uh, right before we went to Miami, they had like four of these, and somebody actually picked them up for like twenty bucks. And then after they did that, they started pricing all of them up to twenty five bucks. Wait, is this? So, oh, I thought it was new at tag. Just no, kidding. it's not new at tag. I wish it was. <laughs> I turned it like this, and I felt I thought it. We we kind of know how the store operates now. If they see you buy a whole bunch of one item, they start pricing that one item up, and then it never sells, and then they start pricing it back down again. They put it half off. So that's probably what's going to happen. Like the barefoot dreams, those are starting to get listed high now. Um, but what we do is we just won't pick them up for a month, and then what they do is they you know fix their system. They put it back down. We pick it up again and then they raise the price again. So it'll just be a constant, like, you know, deciding whether we're not going to pick up something or yeah. pick up something. So that's okay with us. That's the way they got to make their money. I so. wonder though, Friday, we're going to the other red, white, and blue. I wonder if their stuff. Yeah. So the, sometimes they're cheaper. The other red, white, and blue store. had jeans for three bucks when we went yeah. like a month ago. And our red, white, and blue doesn't have any jeans for three bucks. Yeah. So they're just have different pricing structures. I, there's a guy named Adam who's on um, Instagram and he's constantly posting these Patagonia finds where he's finding Patagonia for 10 bucks, like down jackets for 10 bucks at that store. So they just have different pricing structures. So we're going to go back on Friday. We'll see how good that store is because we haven't been there in like a solid month. Yeah, it's been a while since we've been there. Uh, I'm guessing this is another surf set method here. Yep. Ralph Lauren, large. Yep cotton stretch plaid like i said i'm, I'm gonna literally take a day or i'm gonna take an hour a lot of these and list like 20 Five of these because I, I have 20 of them now so if i can list 20 of them in an hour to an hour and a half and make ten dollars per shirt that's two hundred dollars and basically an hour that i'll make so i'll take that Hold all on. day what did he say k made me be very sad got me all hyped for some dumb shoes i lost them twice ruined two of my days what'd you do the travis scott's i told you guys oh yeah there is literally like a 0.0001 percent chance that you'll actually win those so and we so. tried today I, I, I how much are you gonna list the mizzen in for i'm gonna list it for 35 is what i'm gonna list the mizzen main for 35 yeah peter millar Extra large, ooh, XLT a, for six bucks. Extra large tall, XLT. which is good size for that. Yeah, Peter Malaw, you can see it's like as big as Kayla is. It is. <laughs> <Literally>, <laughs> if like... she put it on, it would be a dress on her. <laughs> it's a shirt dress. <laughs> but how much do we pay for that? We only paid six. Yeah, six fifty six for bucks. it. So we'll probably list that one for thirty five ninety nine. One more item after this, it looks like. Ooh. Another sweater. An LL Bean Extra Large for seven bucks. This is a really good one because it's got that front hit on it. Anytime you find LL Bean with that nice little LL Bean hit, it's here. yeah, it, it sells really Still well. Pocket. Show the show the camera a little bit more. That front hit right there. That's what you're looking for. Those sell for like thirty to thirty five, super fast. Again, we're put in our list later pile. Shout out Chris at Peak for giving me that information on how to do that. Um, yeah, we'll put in our list later pile, and we'll probably list it. Uh, if we get around to it, we'll list it sometime in the middle of summer, but I will probably hold it till next season. Shout out Chris at Peak for the surf up method. <laughs> okay, I forgot. I'm not even gonna say what I was gonna say. Another Ralph Lauren large. Five bucks. Five bucks surf up method. Yep. Surf's up. He was like, he was hurt last week. He was like, why are you skipping all those polo Ralph Lorenz? And that's because they were priced at 10 bucks last week. So that's oh, why, okay. that's why I skipped them. But now if they're five or under, I'm going to pick them up. And there was some this week that were under five, but they didn't have good patterns to them. So I pretty much cherry picked all the good ones and I kept those off to the side. Um, yeah, I think, I think I'll do that from now on and, you know, 1799 plus ship. So Kayla wants to go to bed. You're damn right. She does. Bro, I'm so tired. <laughs> I'm so tired. She does. Ugh. Same. Fuzzy math. Fuzzy math. <laughs> Chris is hurt. Chris is like, damn it. Just list it right now. Chris, we'll get around to list them. Don't you worry. But again, appreciate you, Joel. Um, thank you so much for the sticker. I'm glad that I can help you out with the uh, hanger. Um, Trisha will be shipping that, that out to cool you. Sticker. I like it. I like it a lot. I like it because it's different. It's not like your average everyday sticker. It's a pretty cool one. And it's got the QR code. There was a lot of thought put behind the sticker and you could tell he was listening to me when I was talking about stickers and how I wanted to have one with a QR code. And that's what like, I was like, you know, this guy deserves a hanger. So shout out to you, um, Joel. 
Skittles is here. I gotta show up a shirt. Oh, Skittles. You gotta see a shirt. This was Don't so leave. Bad. Don't leave, Skittles. The biggest Batman fan ever. Don't don't leave. I did set up a video, but it's different when you gotta show the Batman shirt. Vintage. Yeah. Nineteen ninety eight Batman. He said Joker. he had the cars that went with this when this came out. Yeah. He's telling me. Super cool. Yeah. Really nice. Used. We might have to go back to that Goodwill and see if they have any more. They might have like a whole rack of those. <laughs> you never know. Sometimes when they, because you found that other shirt too there, right? The Harley? The Harley shirt too. That was yeah, the right same actually. size. So maybe we need to go back to that Goodwill and just scope it out tomorrow. So Kitty Cat says, hey, Skittles. Now Skittles, everybody knows you on YouTube and Facebook as, as Skittles. Skittles. Everybody knows you as Skittles. <laughs> you got 65 people in here right now that know you as Skittles. So shout out Skittles. All right, everybody. Appreciate you guys hanging out. Sorry we couldn't be on TikTok tonight. TikTok was just, you know, not working for us. So um, you'll have to rewatch this on YouTube. I'll tell everybody on TikTok tomorrow. You got to watch it on YouTube if you want to watch it or watch it on Facebook. But appreciate everybody hanging out here, everybody moving over from TikTok. We definitely appreciate you again, Joel. Thank you so much. You're awesome. And uh, we'll be on live tomorrow, hopefully, <laughs> shipping out some orders. If we can get TikTok to work tomorrow morning, I'll be live. I got two suits to pack up. So for everybody who's asking me, how do you pack up suits? Come to my live tomorrow morning, either here on Facebook or YouTube or on TikTok. And uh, you guys can watch me pack up two suits that sold. So appreciate you guys hanging out. And we'll catch you on the next one. Peace.